Talmud Bavli, Gemara Brachot, Perek Revi'i, Daf, Chaf, Zayin Aleph, Chapter 4, Page 27a. We're just going to start from uh, the last line of the previous page, from the word Ela, in the middle. Ela, Iamat, Ad, Va'ad, Bichla, however, if you say until, it means until and including, Rabbi Oda, Rabbi Oda, Hey, no, Rabbanan is the same. His opinion is the same as that of the rabbis, agreeing that mincha can be said until nightfall. Elamai, uh, but what is the conclusion? Ad velo ad bichlal until means until but not including. A masefa, but consider the latter section of the Mishnah. Veshel musafin kol hayom, and the prayer of musaf. Can be said the entire day. Rabbi Yoda Omer Ad Sheba Ad Sheva Shaot until seven hours. Can it can Musaf be said? Betanya it was taught in a brisa. Hayu lefanav shteit filot one had before him two prayers to say. Achat shel Musaf achat shel Mincha one of Musaf one of Mincha. Mit Palel shel Mincha va Achat kach shel Musaf he prays Mincha first and after that. You do Musaf. Shazor Tadira for this one is more frequent. That is, Mincha is more frequent. Vezo Eina Tadira and the other one, Musaf, is not as frequent. Rabbi Yoda Omer, Rabbi Yoda says, Mitpalel Shel Musaf, Achar Kach Shel Mincha. Rabbi Yoda says, to do, mincha, uh, to do Musaf first and after do Mincha. Shazor Overet for. Uh, the time for Musaf uh, elapses early in the, earlier in the day because it can only be done until seven hours. The Zoena or Veret, whereas this one, Mincha, does not um, elapse early and it can be done until Plaka Mincha, until half Mincha. I Amat Bishlama Ad Ad Bichlal. It is well if you say until, uh, until Rabbi Oda means until and including. Hainu demash demash kachat demash kachat lehu shteit filot vehade hadade. This is how two prayers are found to coincide. Ela i amat ad velo ad bichal. If you say until, Rabbi Yehuda means until, but not including. Hechi mash kachat lehu shteit filot vehade hadade. How are the two prayers ever allowed to coincide? Kevan da'atya la shel mincha az la la shel musafin Because once the time for mincha has arrived, the time for musaf has already has already gone. Ela mai ad ve ad bichlal So, what is the conclusion of until? Meaning until and including. <coughs> Excuse me. Kasha Resha, the beginning of the Mishnah is difficult. My Ika ben Rabbi Yodala Rabbanan, what is there between Rabbi Yodan and the rabbis? Both agree that Mincha can be done until evening. Mi Savat de Hai Plag Mincha Plag Kama, do you think that half of Mincha, Rabbi Yodan, means that the latter half of Mincha Ketana? Plag Rishon Akama, Rabbi Yudah, means first half of Mincha. The first half, which is Mincha Ketana. Vehachi uh, Kama, and this is what the Baraisa means to say, Emat Nafik Plag Rishona Ve'ayel Plag Achrona. When does the first half of Mincha depart and the latter half of arrive? Miki nafke achat esra shaot chaserivia when eleven hours less a quarter or ten and three quarter hours of the day departs. Ama Rav Nachman, Rav Nachman said, Afanan nami tenina. We've also learned in the Mishnah, Rabbi Yehuda ben Bava heid chamishat varim. Rabbi Yehuda ben Ava testified about five matters. Shemem. Sheme ma'anin et haktana that we encourage a minor a minor girl, uh, a girl who's a minor to reject her husband. The she mash masiin et haisha 
alpi ed echad. And we allow a court to um, accept a woman to marry based on what one witness who said that her husband died. And about a rooster that was stoned in Jerusalem for killing a person. A <coughs> uh, It says here that a rooster pecked at the fontanelle, a soft spot for a small infant, a small infant's head, and pierced the brain and killed the infant. The uh, al yain ben arbaim yom shenista shenit nasech al gabe hamizbeach, and about one forty days old that was poured on the altar. The al tamid shel shachar shekare ba arba shaot, and about the morning tamid that it may be offered during the fourth hour. Shma mina al vaad bichlau. Learn from this that until means until and including. Uh, and the Gemara, the Gemara concludes, Shmamina, indeed, learn from this. Amar Rav Kahana, Rav Kahana said, Halacha ka Rabbi Yoda, the Halacha follows Rabbi Yoda, uh, that is a Tamid offering uh, cannot be brought um, after the fourth hour. The Ho'il Utnan Bivchirta Kavate. Because a Mishnah, uh, since a Mishnah in the choicest, uh, uh, that is a choicest tractate, which is Edu Yot, so a Mishnah in the choicest follows his opinion. Now we're just going to scroll down. So we're starting from the first of the wide lines in the middle from the word. the word, uh, sorry, from the last of the narrow lines, the last word, Va'al, Va'al Tamid. <coughs> Va'al Tamid shall shacha shekare ba'aba sha'ot, and about the morning Tamid, that it may be offered during the first four hours, mantana lahan ditnan, who taught that which the rabbis taught in Abraisa, Becham Hashemesh Venamas? When the sun grew hot, it would melt. It would melt. Uh, then, uh, the entire verse, which is in Bereshit 16, verse 21, says, They gathered it in the morning. Uh, in the morning. Uh, this is, must be a reference to the man. Every man according to what he would eat, and when the sun grew hot, it would melt. <coughs> But Arba Sha'ot at four hours into the day, that is during the fourth hour, Ata Omer, but Arba Sha'ot, you say at four hours, or Eno Ela Beshe Sha'ot, but per, perhaps it was possibly six hours, that is during the six hours. Keshehu Omer Kechom Hayom, when it says at the heat of the day. Because uh, in Bereshit 18, verse 1, Abraham was sitting at the entrance to his tent. At the heat of the day, Hare Shesh Shaot Amur. Six hours is thereby stated. Hama Ani Mekayem Vecham Hashemesh Venamas. So how do I interpret? And when the sun grew hot, it would melt. But Abba Shaot at four hours. It means four hours into the day. Mani who holds this? Lo Rabbi Yoda ve Lo Rabbanan, neither Rabbi Yoda nor the rabbis. E Rabbi Yoda, because if it was Rabbi Yoda, Ad Arba Shaot Namid Safrahu, until the end of four hours is also considered morning. E Rabbanan, and if it's the rabbis, Ad Chatzot Namid Safrahu, they said until noon is considered morning. So it's, it's a question. If you prefer, say Rabbi Yoda, and if you prefer, say, say the rabbis. If you prefer saying the rabbis, the verse about the man, uh, the manna, the man states in the morning, in the morning. This is a double expression. Uh, which means to divide the morning a total of six hours 
into two mornings, each consisting of three hours. The earbait ema Rabbi Yoda, and if you prefer, say Rabbi Yoda, ha hai boke yetera lehakdim lo shaachat. This extra morning moves up the time for gathering the man one hour. Dechula alma miha vecham hashemesh venamas ba'arba shaot. At any rate, everyone says that, and when the sun grew hot, it would melt. Was it four hours? That is during the fourth hour. My mashma, how is this implied? Ama Rabbi Yacha Bar Yaakov, Rabbi Yacha Bar Yaakov said, Ama Kara Vecham Hashemesh Venamas, the Tanakh states, and when the sun grew hot, it would melt. Ezo hi sha'a she Hashemesh Cham Behatzel Tonen, what time is it when the sun is hot and the shade uh, and the shade is cool? Heavy, heavy, Omer Ba Arba Sha'ot, say that this is at four hours. The Mishnah says, Tfilat ha-mincha ad ha-erev ve The afternoon prayer can be said until the evening, etc. So, until, uh, so, and Rabbi Yoda says, until Blag ha-mincha. Ama le Rav Chista, le Rav Yitzchak, Rav Chista said to Rav Yitzchak, Hatam ama Rav Kahana halacha ke Rav Yoda. There, in about Shachrit, Rav Kahana said that the halacha follows Rav Yoda. That can be said until the end of the fourth hour. Ho'il utnan birchirta kavate, because a Mishnah in the Choices Tractate follows his opinion. Hachamai, here, what is the law? Are we following the rabbis of Rav Yoda? Ishtik velo amav le velo miti. Rav Yitzchak was silent, did not reply to him at all. Ama Rav Chista, Rav Chista said, Necheze anan, let us see for ourselves. Midrav metzale shel Shabbat be'erev, Shabbat mi bod yom. From the fact that Rav prayed um, his mariv on Shabbos, on the eve of Shabbos, uh, that's on Friday, while it was still daytime. So he recited the Mariv prayer of Shabbos, and he accepted Shabbos during still during while it was still daytime. That's what Rashi says. But it was after Plag Hamincha, after half Mincha. Uh, There for a second. Shmamina halacha ke Rabbi Yehuda. Learn from this that the halacha follows Rabbi Yehuda. Adraba, on the contrary, midrav huna v'rabanan lo havu mitzalu ad orta. From the fact that Rav Huna and the rabbis would not do mariv until nightfall, shmamina ein halacha ke Rabbi Yehuda. Learn from this that the halacha is not in accordance with Rabbi Yehuda. Hashda de lo itma hilchata lokma ve lokma. So now the halacha has not been decided or stated in accordance with either this master or that master, either the rabbis or Rabbi Yoda. Da avad kama avad. He who does as this master, that is the rabbis, <coughs> does it correctly, that is, says Mircha until nightfall. O da avad kama avad, and who he who does like the other master, that is Rabbi Huda, and does Mincha until Plaga Mincha, and does Mari straight after, he does it. He does it correctly as well. Rav Ikla Levegni Va Vetzalel Vetzale Shel Shabbat Be'er Shabbat. Rav visited the house of Geniva and prayed Mariv of Shabbos on the eve of Shabbos. Behava metzale Rabbi Yirmiya bar Abba la'achoreha de Rav and Rabbi Yirmiya bar Abba, that is Rav's student, prayed behind Rav. Vesiyem Rav velo paske litzlote de Rabbi Yirmiya. Rav completed his tefillah, his prayer, and did not disrupt the prayer of Rabbi Yirmiya. Shmamina Tlat, learn from this three things. Shmamina Mitpalela Dam Shel Shabbat Erev Shabbat. 
So you can learn that a person can pray Mariv of Shabbos on the eve of Shabbat, Shabbat, that is on Friday afternoon after Plag Mincha, or Shema Mina Mitvalel Tamid Achorei Rabo. You can also learn that a student can pray directly behind his teacher, or Shema Mina Asula Vor Keneged Hamipalin, and also learn from this that it is forbidden to pass by before those who are praying. In regard to the last point, Messiah le le Rabbi Yosha ben Levi. This supports Rabbi Yosha ben Levi. Dama Rabbi Yosha ben Levi for Rabbi Yosha ben Levi said, Asul avor keneged hamipalin is forbidden to pass before those who are praying. Eni, uh, is this so? Vaha Rabbi Ami ve Rabbi Asi chelfe. Why Rabbi Ami and Rabbi Asi would pass? Well, they would pass before one who was praying. Rabbi Ami ve Rabbi Asi chutz la arba amot hu dechal fe. Rabbi Ami and Rabbi Asi would pass only four amot beyond a person. The Rabbi Yirmiya hechi avid hachi. How could Rabbi Yirmiya do this? The ha amar Rav Yoda amar Rav Because why Rav Yoda said in the name of Rav le olam. Ali Palel Adam, a person should never pray.